your back with Viv and it's just vibes. Thanks again for joining me for another episode of my underrated series where we talk about underrated artists, why they might be underrated and of course I get special guests on. Now today's special guest, let, let him introduce himself. John, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Uh, so my name is John Hill. Um, I started off curating for Apple Music. So I do essentials behind the boards playlist placements and uh, yeah etc and i also write articles for amatan rain so amatan rain is a music magazine based out of accra you know and recently i started working with universal music for island records so yeah you know here's what it is he's doing I a lot that guys a lot of things but like yeah yeah he's <laughs> doing a lot there, he's yeah. doing a big up big up <laughs> Um, I'm super happy yeah, to have you on today. So we actually spoke uh, on Instagram recently and we were talking about mm -hmm. who we think is underrated. Someone we both yeah. had in common and in mind was R2Bs. Now R2Bs mm -hmm. has a special place in my heart. I feel like I've been listening to them for a long time. I, there's a lot of people that don't actually know R2Bs though. And that's something that yeah. I want to like, I want to get into. Why is it that they don't really mm -hmm. know them? Why do I feel like they're underrated? Why do you feel like they're underrated? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to mm -hmm. be talking about today. But yeah, are you mm -hmm. a fan? Have How long have you been listening to them? What's the what's the deal? Bro, I, I grew up on R2Bs. R2Bs is legendary back home. So they've been making music from time, like from Whisked Slow Down with um, um, r uh, when the coast kiss your hand like they've been churning out hits for a very long time trust me they are legendary there's no way any Ghanaian does not know how to be like they're literally part of the culture you know mm -hmm. so yeah how to be they are yeah they are definitely their guys they, they said this they said the standards they started doing it before we knew what music mm -hmm. was you know so yeah it's 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 interesting to sort of you know tap into the rich culture that they've created if that makes sense and we we'll see mm. how that goes but yeah mm -hmm. yeah like you said rtb have been here for a long time like they've done a lot yeah. they've they've been with they've mm -hmm. collabed with tons of artists i've obviously mugis yeah. as well who's part of rtb's has done oh, yeah. his own mm -hmm. separate things as well like they've just they've done a lot and i think a lot of yeah. it has actually gone under the radar um mm -hmm, so there's mm -hmm. a few things that i want to pick up on but yeah, definitely. Yeah. That that whiskey tune, slow down, is a banger. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's legendary. Like that song, and it still slaps, yes. and it still goes off. Yeah, that song yes. is definitely right up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever they get together, it's a, it's a good tune. Like I still listen to it in the car, and I'm like singing my heart out. Like that's a banger. <laughs> but yeah, it is. Yes, it is. So, slow down is a jump. Tonight is also a jump with whiskey mm, as well. So like when whenever mm. they come together, it's always madness. Mm. Um. So why do, do you feel like they are underrated? Because my standpoint, mm. looking mm. obviously, I, I'm not gone in. I don't have any roots in Ghana. Yeah. From an outside yeah. point of view, listening to their music, I feel mm -hmm. like they are underrated. But obviously, yeah. you you might have a different perspective because you might see how rewarded they yeah. are in Ghana and like mm -hmm. how much yeah, people appreciate them. Yeah. So what's yeah. your standpoint with in regards to them being underrated? So I think it's it's complicated. I would not call them underrated because they are they are legends back home. Like they're appreciated, mm. if that makes sense. But what I would say is the African music space has evolved over the years and I feel like they've not evolved with it, if it makes sense. Yes. So yeah, so yeah, we've we've had your whiz kids making music from time. Same way we've had our to be making music from time. But then um Obviously, Whiskey has grown, he has reinvented himself. He's out here in the UK, he's doing shows, he's doing collaborations, he's doing all of that. Whereas r 2 have always been laid back, you know, they've always mm. done what they wanted to do when they, when they felt like they had to. They don't do press runs, they don't do... Yeah, they just drop music when they feel like they need to drop music. They are not like on it, if that makes sense. Mm. And mm. the African music space has grown, so... You have people like Davido trying to think of okay, what can I do to stay relevant? Do you get it? Mm -hmm. So if you're not on it, you're gonna fall behind. So mm -hmm. yeah, there's a there's a there's a difference between making good music and putting your music out there, if that makes sense. I hundred yeah. percent so, yeah, agree. Yeah, yeah. So the music is just one part of it. You need to do the music business part. And I feel like out to be I've never really tapped into the music business side internationally anyways. So yeah. Yeah, because I don't actually like recall ever like listening to an R2B's interview 
I don't like yeah. e even when their re like fairly recent album dropped, right? I didn't mm, hear yeah, anything yeah. about it. Like I literally didn't hear anything yeah. about it. And then I think it was just yeah. another another celebrity must have like posted it on their story, I think. And that's mm -hmm. how I was like I was aware, oh okay, cool, these people actually have an yeah. album out. Like mm -hmm. so I feel yeah. like there is a gap with the music marketing side. Oh. I feel like they just slack with the music business aspect, you know, like you can make good music all you want, but then if you're not out there pushing it, if you're not, you know, distributing properly with like a major, yeah, it's not going to go anywhere. So I feel like that's the thing. And after this, I've never really tapped into the creative space. Like, oh, let's feature that person. Let's do that. They don't even mm. drop consistently. Mm. They literally just drop when they feel like, well, you know, yeah. So they, they, they've never really, you know, kept up with like the music business and all of that so yeah mm. but they make amazing music still and i feel like yeah. that's just the thing they feel like they're legends and they do this so they don't they don't owe it to anyone to you know true but, yeah <laughs> it's what it I is i feel it is it is like obviously different now because afrobeat says like so many different types of sounds like they yeah. kind of they make the music that was like mm -hmm. considered afrobeats back then and yeah. now like yeah. afrobeats is such a huge umbrella like <laughs> that you have it afro is. trap afro this afro that mm -hmm. afro, like literally mm -hmm. and then ama piano is coming into it and like yeah. people are doing yeah. a lot with their sounds and like even i think the pressure of having so many like new afrobeat artists coming out like all these new yeah. guys coming out even the girls as well like yeah. it's just i feel mm -hmm. like it's putting pressure on the guys who are considered legends in the game because it's like hard to keep up with the new stuff and the new sounds but i think like you said they could at least maybe try collab with them and do more in, mm -hmm. in terms of that respect so i don't know mm -hmm. I, I think consistency but, is a huge thing with them as well yeah but that's the thing it's it's not like they cannot do it i feel like they've just they're laid back they're relaxed if that makes sense Mm. So uh, on their new project, they have a song that fused um, high life with Amo Piano. It goes off. Payday is one of the um, Omar Sterling. So you know they are, they are made of two. There's R2, yeah. there's uh, Moogies, and then there's Payday. So Payday is a rapper. Payday goes off with the hip hop thing. Uh, mm -hmm. A couple is it a couple months back or a couple week or a couple years back? He dropped like his solo project. It went off. So mm. that's the thing. They've they've it's almost like they've proved that they can do this over and over again. Mm -hmm. and they don't see the need to you know get out there because mm. you know we know how to be can do this uh Mugis is yeah. an amazing vocalist like he's he's been yeah. doing it before king promise before your darko vibes before your anybody so yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah they they don't i feel like they feel like there's nothing to prove and the music business is mo it's not it's not about proving to people it's about getting your music out there you need to you need to do the marketing bit. You need to do the distribution bit. You need to mm -hmm. do the branding bit. You need to do all of that for your music to fly. It's mm -hmm. more than just making music. And I feel like that's something that I wouldn't say they, they, they don't know because they've been doing it from time. So obviously they do. I just feel like they've not really, they've not felt the pressure to, you know, be out there, if that makes sense. Mm. I don't see them hanging out yeah. with any of the guys in the industry. Like I never see them yeah, doing anything on <laughs> <Yeah>. Instagram, nothing <laughs> like do you know what yeah, i mean they are, they are super laid back yeah they are yeah. super laid back with the music thing and the music space is evolving you need to be on it you cannot be mm. laid back you know i agree artists that are laid back are signed to major labels so they have the major labels chasing down features doing all of that stuff for them but artists don't have that as well so it's a bit of a yeah, mm. I don't know. <laughs> and i feel like it's there's there's a huge shift yeah where you're i feel yeah. like you're not you're not making music just for ghana now like you're making music for literally anyone because afrobeats is going global and mm -hmm. yeah that's i feel like that's why they're kind of being left a little bit behind at the moment like people are sleeping on them yeah and i feel like yeah. what me me and you are both kind of agreeing that it's not anything to do with their talent or like you know yeah, their definitely songs not. Yeah. it's nothing to do with that mm -hmm. it's literally just Mm -hmm. I think I think keeping up with the times is a huge thing. <laughs> yeah. That is it. Yeah. That is it. They are, yeah, they, they did not evolve as much as I would have wanted them to evolve because yo, Whiskey has been, you know, I always have friends here talking about, "Oh my god, did you listen to uh, what's that song with terms? Essence. Oh, that mm -hmm. song is so good. There's this new guy called Whiskey. I'm like, "Bro, Whiskey has been doing this from <laughs> time. He has not changed. <laughs> like, Whiskey has been Whiskey from time. He's been yeah. a global superstar from yeah. time. But thing is, 
he's learned to evolve he's learned to tap into music marketing with sony he's learned to you know you need mm. to constantly reinvent yourself because you're like afrobeats is changing is there's a bigger market now you know so mm -hmm. you need to sort of tap into all of that but rtbs have they've just not done that you know so mm. yeah and do you I, think I don't, i'm not sure if it's sorry yeah why, why do you think that they haven't done that though because I don't know it just if it, it kind of frustrates me when artists do that because it's like i'm like <laughs> yeah. listening i listened to the r2b's album the recent one what's it it mm -hmm. was called back yeah. to basic back, back to basics right yeah back to basics yeah yeah, yeah. and i was so frustrated because i have literally <laughs> saved most of the songs on that album onto my playlist like mm -hmm. my personal yeah. playlist yeah that's that yeah. album actually has bangers yeah especially it, it I, I think off, I, yeah. I i think i know which song you're talking about with that i'm a piano by the way <laughs> yeah. but yeah they have they have a bunch of records on it there's one with jackie there's a couple of records mm. there's a song with whiskey as well tinkerbell yeah yeah tinkerbell. so yeah they have it I yeah have it, but it's just, why yeah you, you have just... another you have another song with whiskey like them knowing how mm -hmm. successful the other songs were with whiskey yeah would you yeah. not promote that song heavy like i don't know it just it frustrates me a lot right. because there's some artists that yeah. really don't i think they they're just the creative mm -hmm. side and they're not the business side yeah. but like when you're established yeah, artist, when you're an established artist you have to have both and if not then you need other people to do it for you because yeah exactly you know i was i was having this conversation with a couple of friends back and um so obviously you know ghana ghana's biggest artist by far what well, is or used to be Sarko, yeah, because I feel like the kid, like people like Amari and Kitty are coming up, but mm -hmm. yeah, and it was like, oh, Sarko owes it to you know Ghanaians to become like your ways, you know, sign with a major like Sony and put people on and do all, do all of all, like these amazing things, and I feel like it's you can't force artists to do like make a TikTok or do all of that because that's not who they are, mm -hmm. but yeah like you said they need to if they don't want to do it themselves they need to sign with someone to make sure that is taken care of because the music is not going to fly without that because like the music space is evolving you it comes with the, the digital marketing it comes with the tiktoks mm -hmm. it comes with the you know the clout online it's all part of the music business and autobies have never been you know that kind they've never had that vibe to do all of that and i understand where they're coming mm -hmm. from because it can be exhausting you know, mm. it can be exhausting to create a record and then now think of, oh, how do I push it? Now I have to think of memes and think of TikToks. And yeah, mm. There's a lot. But mm. yeah, I feel like they've just, they've just been laid back and they've sort of, they they move when they want to. They drop when they want to. Mm. They promo when they want to. Because there's, there's that huge, like, like, there's that huge discussion about, like, Ghanaian artists, like, oh bro uh yeah trust me like that's that's, like, that, yeah. that's a whole nother discussion yeah <laughs> honestly but, so because afrobeats has always been ghana nigeria and it feels like ghana is left behind you mm -hmm. know so there's always that debate about oh Ghanaians need to do more Ghanaians need to do more but mm. bro nigerians are on it bro <laughs> nigerians are on yeah. it like um literally so i i started at universal when like a couple weeks back mm -hmm. and almost all almost all of the a are nigerians really and then you know yeah they're nigerians and when once they meet you oh my god you're Ghanaian, da, 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 like they are on it they're like oh let's plug you they see you as oh you know you are you are it's like we are one so they want mm. to carry you along and i feel like that's the attitude nigerians have always carried regardless whether they are in nigeria or outside they've always wanted to carry each other along and i feel like ghana does not have that you know mm, ghana really? does not have that heat yeah, Ghana mm. does not have that heat to, you know, move, move, move like that. So I feel like that's another thing that is really holding out to be his back. Because, like, yo, Nigerians are like, yeah, let's go. Let's do this show. Let's meet in the studio. Let's do that. Mm. You know, they're always on it. But, yeah, Ghanaians are more laid back. And I think it's, it's probably just a cultural thing. Ghanaians are naturally chilled. That's just how we oh, are. Really? So. They but i mean be. look at the end of the day though Ghanaian artists are, are trying like let's not like they're trying oh yeah <laughs> but true but like and obviously like kelvin boy has like just dropped a huge hit you had kiddie oh, yeah, as well doing flat. madness yeah, yeah yeah so like i feel like slowly but surely it's, it's you know it's getting there they're pushing each other yeah. but there's definitely yeah, yeah, room for time, improvement like i feel like some of the ogs need to do probably a bit more and um yeah i don't know yeah, i don't know yeah, maybe definitely. maybe maybe like r2b's inconsistency or like 
laid back mm -hmm. approaches because maybe they have like other things other projects going on i don't really know like what yeah. else they do i guess they yeah. could be like helping other artists you, you don't know like i'm not oh, sure no they have they have king promise daco vibes their careers are old to r because r that's the thing so we Ghanaians cannot be angry with r because we know what they've done if that makes mm -hmm. sense we know mm -hmm. that they've push the culture they've created this so you know so you can't really blame them for being laid back and the music mm. game is a bit it can be exhausting so yeah you know mm. you can't really blame them for being but it's just that you you will think that yo you guys are at a point where you could do more you might as well get on with it <laughs> it doesn't mm. make sense yeah, yeah. But yeah i don't know you know so but i yeah, mean they, they are definitely open to the youth yeah they, they really push the game like from King Promise to Daco Vibes to Kill Bits to and they are constantly like you know putting people on so yeah they are mm. definitely doing that part. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite RTB song? Well, I don't think I have a favorite song, yo. I literally <laughs> go through the essentials like anytime I miss home, <laughs> I just put on the RTB uh, essentials and it goes through <laughs> it goes uh, through different the... decades like it goes through Slow Down to Tonight to like their most mm. recent records goes into killing me softly like but i don't have a favorite bro like mm. i feel like r2b's is a vibe on its own they are, they are a culture on their own so like whenever i miss home just put on the r2b's essentials and i feel like i'm back home in ghana oh <laughs> so, bless yeah. you <laughs> yeah no i i get that though like with their music i always feel like yeah. it's very it's kind of traditional to, to ghana i feel like yeah very yeah very yeah. very very like moogies has that high life thing going you know mm. so yeah Mugis is, like, oh, yeah. is mad, bro. Mugis is mad. He is, he is, he is. He is like he's super talented, and he's like he does not even try that hard. And I'm like, how does this guy do it? It's like yeah, mm. no light work. <laughs> Trust but me, yeah, it's, I don't, it's, it's I don't think I've, I don't think I've even seen a video of them perform like literally. But it, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, just yeah. I, I mean, don't know. I don't. I, the, I don't know. I think they do a lot in Ghana, though. They do do a lot in Ghana. Yeah. Oh, they do. Yeah. Uh, I think they had a show. Uh, so for their new project during the Christmas, which was which was pretty good, mm -hmm. and um, for Ghana's Independence, they had a show in US, I think. Yeah, that was. Pretty oh good really? As well. So that's the thing. Yeah, so they are here and there. It's like it's almost like they get to pick and choose when they want to mm. be out there. If that makes sense. Yeah, you can't I really you. fault them, but yeah, I wish they would do more though, because they they have the potential, you know, to mm. carry Ghana on their back, but it is what it is. <laughs> so you don't think it, you don't think it's too late, right? They, you think that they can, they can still shine in this space now where not. Afrobeats is going. Do you think there's still a space for them, like to become like the, they had such a buzz, a buzz around them mm -hmm. at one mm -hmm. point. Yeah. Do you, do you think that they would be able to get that back? The music is good. You know the music mm. is good so with the right backing it's gonna fly like i used to say most people discovered Benar boy within the last three years or four years but Benar boy has been doing this from time Benar boy has been mm. killing verses from time Benar boy hops on a record with rappers and goes bar for bar with them <laughs> yeah. but, so at a point you would think that Benar boy would have thought like oh yeah it's not working now yeah this is not gonna work but then he reinvented himself and he's African giants now. So I don't mm -hmm. think it's ever too late. Artists mm -hmm. can still do it. You know, they just need to reinvent themselves, tap into the new market because Afrobeat is beyond Africa now. You know, mm. for years it has always been Africa, but Afrobeat is beyond Africa now. It's America, it's the UK. Monkley Monkley said Afrobeat, the capital of Afrobeat is London. In the hub, yeah, the hub, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Do you get yeah. it? So yeah, there's there's always time. There's always time. and the music is good. That's the thing. The music is good, so it's going to fly. Out to be makes amazing music, mm -hmm. and you can, you, they are not, um, they are they are very authentic in the sense that you can tell that okay, yeah, this is the Ghanaian sound. Mm, you know? I love that. I love so, it yeah. so much. Yeah. And yo, so, the I language, late, the language, yeah, I love <laughs> the language. Yo, yo. I know, right? Yeah. Out to be has that thing. Out to be, out to be makes you feel proud to be Ghanaian with their music. You know. Mm. I love yeah, that. they make you feel proud to be Ghanaian because you can feel the culture. Like I always tell you, like anytime I miss home, literally go for I go play some R two Bs, get some Ghanaian food, and just like. Uh, vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That is me. Yeah. So yeah, they they definitely have that potential. I feel like, yeah, if they choose to, they they can definitely and they have, they are big enough, so they have the clout, they have the reach, 
So mm. I think it's just it's literally on all on them. They can decide to oh let's step out, let's do more shows, let's mm. get into more collabs, let's you know they can do it if they want to, but you know it is what it is. It is really it depends on them to be honest. True. Okay, yeah. well I think we kind of have the same opinion. So we've had a really good discussion. <laughs> is there anything else you want to say about Open. RTBs? Ah, uh, payday, Mugis, if you're watching this, please, please get into your bag, make us proud. <laughs> Yeah, yes. drop some collabs, yeah. We Reach need out, it. Please. We need it. We need <laughs> it. <laughs> like, we need it. Please, you guys, get out there. Like, get out there. Like, collabo. Mm. Like, get, like, yo, because the potential is there. Like, I feel like mm. Ghana, Ghana is lacking that. We need a whiskey. We need a Davido. We need a Burnout Boy. You know, Sakura mm. is doing bits. Amaru is doing bits. Kid is doing bits. But we need, mm. we need our two bees. You know, yeah, mm. we need our two bees. Yes, we need so, them. Yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for coming on. I've literally been so excited about this video. Anytime. <laughs> nah, man, anytime, anytime. I've been excited. I've, I've, I've been looking forward to it as well. All right, guys. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. We're gonna wrap it up now. Always. I think. Mm -hmm. make sure you show john some love i've put his socials underneath spread love in the comments and yeah Definitely. a round of applause for him for coming on thank you so much <laughs> all right guys subscribe always, if you, always. subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching guys mm -hmm. until next time with Viv from just vibes bye